Hi guys, welcome to my get ready with me for Royal Ascot. I decided that it would be quite a fun video to film because I never really do get ready with me's and a lot of you ask when I curl my hair how I do it and how I do my makeup if I do it a bit more like something. So I thought I would just show you in this video how I do it and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, if you want to see how I achieve this, keep watching. So first things first, we're going to use a moisturiser. I really like using this witch mattifying one because I find that it kind of works as a good shine remover and it's quite good because it's got a little bit of tea tree in so it's moisturising but it also helps to keep spots at bay. And then for eye cream, I just use It's Potent by Benefit which is admittedly one of the first eye creams I've ever used but I find that it's really good to reduce puffiness and it just makes my eyes look a lot brighter and more vibrant for the day. And I just apply this in a sort of circular motion around my eye, focusing on the under eye area to begin with, and then just a little bit there. Then I use NYX HD Primer, which I actually put a tiny bit too much of this on in the video, but this is a really good primer. I find that it gives me a really matte look, and it also just seems to keep my foundation on for ages, but it does go slightly white if you use too much, as you can see from this, because I used far too much, like an idiot. And I was also watching Orange is the New Black at the same time. Then I just used my colour correcting crayon from L'Oreal, which was mentioned in a Nunes video before. And I just go over any problem areas that I have. Like, I did have sunburn on my forehead. And I just go underneath my eyes, along my nose, and any blemish areas that I might have on my face. Apparently quite a few. And then just blend that into my skin. For my foundation I use my Holy Grail which is the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish which I have in shade 9 because this is like my tanned shade and I just apply that on my face and then blend it in with a blending brush after I've put what seems to be a ridiculous amount of foundation on. And I just buff this into my face to give me a really nice flawless finish and it is slightly darker than my actual skin but it matches my neck perfectly so it's perfect for when I have fake tan on. Then using my brow kit from Barry M, which is my favourite one, I just fill in my eyebrows really thickly because, you know, that's just how I do it. And I just tend to focus more on the main part of my eyebrow and then fill in the arch and just extend it a tiny bit, which I seem to be taking a long time to do. But this is basically how I do my eyebrows, so if you want a routine, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do one. And I did actually make myself cry somehow in the middle of this, but, you know, all fun and games. For my eyeshadow, I'm just using this really beautiful Tarte palette which is called Rich Browns and I'm just going to take the white shade and fill in under my eyebrow just to give me a bit more definition and highlight and it just seems to make my eyebrows look a much better shape even though it's a really, really subtle colour. And then for my transition area, I'm just taking the slightly darker brown shade and just filling that in really lightly again, not too much colour but it just gives a really nice effect. I'm just patting an even darker shade on the actual lid of my eye and just blending that all in together to give me a really subtle smoky eye with a bit of a difference because you can't really see it that much but it made my eyes look so green. And then taking this foundation stick which I got from Primark, I'm just filling in where I want to contour. This is slightly darker again and it just gives me a really subtle contour rather than being too heavy like I normally do. And I just filled in all the normal contour areas like my nose, my cheeks, my chin and then just around my forehead ever so slightly. Then I'm just going to blend it in with my buffing brush from Real Techniques and it should start to look a little bit more contoured. Then using this matte bronzer from NYX which is a nice pressed powder I'm just going to go ahead and go over the top of that just to give it a slight bit more definition. For my blush and highlight, I'm just using this Sunkiss Pearls palette from Elizabeth Arden, which gives a really beautiful blush, highlighty, three-in-one kind of colour, and it's just beautiful. And this smile is so creepy right now that I don't even know what to say about it. 
And then with Dream Matte Mousse, I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes and go over any blemish areas that I might have because I find Dream Matte Mousse to be probably one of the best concealers, even though it's not strictly a concealer. And I just go over all the problem areas like my bags, my nose and any spots that I might have. And then for my powder, I'm using this HD Studio Powder from NYX, which is a nightmare to apply because it puffs everywhere as you've just seen. But it does give a really beautiful finish and it just makes everything set in so perfectly despite being slightly puffy when you first apply it. It also feels beautiful on the skin as well, like it doesn't feel like there's too much product there, it's nice and lightweight. Then we're just going to go straight in and curl the eyelashes, which is something I don't do on a regular basis, but for Ascot I did because I wanted to define my eyelashes without giving them some false ones because false eyelashes are a nightmare all day in the heat. So curling them just gives them that little bit of length. And then I'm going to use Benefit There Real for my first layer of mascara because this is my holy grail. I find this to be amazing. I think it really lengthens my eyelashes as you can see and it just gives a really nice effect. Then to thicken out my lashes I'm using Tarte Gifted which is an Amazonian clay mascara and it's honestly amazing. I just did a review of this on my blog that you have to check out but it really lengthens my lashes and just thickens them up a tiny bit more than their real does. Just beautiful. For eyeliner I'm using my regular which is the Rimmel Scandalize. The brush on this actually is my favourite by far. I just find it so easy to apply and it just goes on the right amount. But this one's actually running out slightly so it did take me a little longer than normal and I just did my everyday eyeliner which is a slight winged eyeliner and I just sort of blend it out a little bit underneath too. And it always takes me forever to do the little flick. To brighten my eyes I'm using NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and just going along my lower lash line and just touching it slightly just to brighten my eyes. For my lips, I'm going to line them with Barbara Daly's Pink Berry Lip Liner. Just going over my natural lip line because I didn't want to overdraw them at all. I wanted to keep the look fairly simple. So as you can see, I'm just going over my lip line with a slightly darker shade than my natural lips, but not too much darker. Then using Makeup Revolution's Looking Ahead Lipstick, I am going to fill my lips in. This actually matches perfectly to the Barbara Daly shade, which I didn't expect, but it's perfect combination and it means that I don't have to go out and buy even more lipstick, even if I wanted to. Then to set my makeup, I'm going to use the Matte Finish Finishing Spray from NYX and just spritz it on my face a little bit and let it dry. Then to start my hair. My hair is actually, this was like one day after Ascot, so it is kind of still done, but I'm just going to brush through it and then recurl because it wasn't in a good state after the wind. So to curl my hair I just separate the top part onto a bun on top of my head and then spritz a little bit of my Tresemme heat protector on the bottom layer and go ahead and curl with my wide barrel Tresemme curler. This normally takes me about 20 minutes to do my entire hair so I'm obviously speeding this up a hell of a lot whilst still watching Orange is the New Black. The closer I get to the top of my head, the smaller layers I actually pull down because I like to make my curls a little bit more defined on top so that when they fall there's a lot more wave. And then as I get towards the front of my head, I like to curl away from my face just to sort of define it a little bit and make my curls fall away from my face rather than falling into my face. we have it my look is now complete so that was my get ready with me for royal ascot i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and let me know if you want me to do more get ready with me's or like makeup -y tutorials or anything like that i did kind of put them on pause but i think i'm going to bring some back so let me know what you'd like to see and i'll be more than happy to do some and i really hope you enjoyed it